Six men, one woman, busted and accused of stealing 16 2023 Ford Bronco Raptors, valued at $1.7 million. And listen to these ages. Some of them are 19, 20, 21, no older than that. To talk about this investigation, I have Ken Police Chief Chad Baugh. Uh, Chief, talk about the work. This is a year-long investigation. How... Tell me about the work that went into this. Yeah, we're very fortunate. Our police officers and investigators have been working on this case for over a year, writing over 20 search warrants, working with the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office, and more importantly, we've been able to work for many years now, which was very helpful with our local partners, other municipalities. And in this case, it's very important to take a real measured approach because these vehicles are being stolen, and these folks do not stop. And it's real important that we not only maintain the safety for our police officers, but the citizens, because these vehicles don't stop. So we will find them, we will catch them, and in this case, we did. And working with our partners, we arrested these seven individuals, we got them arraigned and hold them accountable. You worked with several different agencies on this. What was the, the break in the case that led to uh, many of these arrests? Well, I'll let the, uh, the case play out in court, but there was a lot of work done on the back end. As you know, there's, um, everyone carries a, a device with them. These cars have devices. Our folks are very, very intelligent in how they investigate cases and when they're watching and surveilling folks. So there was a lot of work all put together with other agencies, and with that, we were able to put, put together a great case for the Wayne County Prosecutor. As far as uh, some of these people, they're not even old enough. Well, none of them are really old enough to rent a car. Right. They were able to get to the Ford Motor, was it a plan or motor company? How do they get to, well, where do they get to steal these Raptors from? Great question. And there are lots that are rented out, I believe, throughout Southeast Michigan, where these cars go to rest before they go to the dealer. And that's where the vehicles have been taken from. This is one of those crimes that we have seen played out in many different towns and cities all across Metro Detroit. For you guys to make arrests in this case, what kind of message do you want to send to anyone who is thinking about doing this kind of crime? Certainly in Canton Township, our residents should know that our police officers are working tirelessly. They'll work 24 seven, seven days a week. And if you're stealing the car in Canton, we're gonna look for you, we're gonna find you and hold you accountable. Chief, I appreciate your time. Right, thank thank you. you so much. Right. So. As the chief said, those suspects have had their day in court. They do have a second hearing that is coming up fairly soon. In Canton, I'm Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.